guys and gals. Uh, I work as part time as a food delivery driver, so I thought it would be interesting to share uh, my experience and my impression of what people like to order uh, for what kind of food they like to order. Actually, I should say for um, you know for food to be delivered that they like to eat. Um, so there are several. I think there are several interesting things about that, and this might apply to different kinds of people. If you're in the food industry, um, you know it might be interesting for you to kind of see, uh, understand people's preferences. You can also. Um, you know, be in the restaurant business, or um, you might be maybe somebody like me, you know, that's really interested in people and really interested in uh, observing people and what they do and what they think and what kind of choices they make. You know, I find this fascinating. So I thought to share this um, kind of insights with you and um, I hope um, you find them useful and you enjoy them. So, um, I have kind of five major categories uh, for um, based on the type of people that are ordering the food, the customers, you know, what they order. Um, and that depends largely on who the people are. Um, for example, uh, the first category is um, young people. Um, typically young people, in my experience, order um, kind of um, either uh, trendy food, you know, if there's uh, some trendy restaurant um, or, you know, kind of some kind of a uh, food place that's kind of uh, up and coming or kind of newer, uh, they're kind of interested to order from these types of places or they might order something very simple you know they might order uh, maybe just um, like a sandwich for example you know something very simple it's not even a meal um, so this is the first major category the second major category of uh, people uh, and what they order is uh, older people um, so Older people typically like to eat, um, like food from more traditional places, you know. Um, I don't know if you have restaurants like that in your uh, area, but, you know, these are typically the more established restaurants. They've been there for many years, um, you know, they're kind of, um, everything's kind of more conservative and traditional there. Um, typically the recipes have been tried for many many years they have, they've been passed on from generation to generation so typically older customers like to order from these types of more traditional places the uh, third category of um, customers and what they like to order is um, you know here in the United States there are people from all over the world and including a lot of Americans are from have different backgrounds different ethnic backgrounds so um, the third major trend in food delivery is um, for people depending on their ethnic background uh, then um, the type of food they order order is kind of from their own ethnic background um, so all of these are kind of general uh, generalizations of course there are people um, people cross these different kinds of uh, categories and there's exceptions but I'm just talking in general you know um, overall so um, of course, everybody in the U.S., depending on their back, ethnic background, might prefer to eat their own food. But unfortunately, um, for example, just like uh, with my background, Bulgarian, you know, there are not that many Bulgarian restaurants. Uh, but uh, certain ethnic groups have uh, a 
there's a lot of them here and there's a lot of restaurants representing them so um, people from these types of ethnic groups um, typically I've observed a kind of um, order from their own culture you know their own cuisine for example um, just to name a few you know um, for example uh, Indians might prefer Indian cuisine Chinese people might prefer Chinese cuisine uh, Middle Eastern people might prefer uh, Middle Eastern cuisine when they order something um, so these are kind of some some examples uh, regarding this category um, and the next one I have is uh, really fourth one is uh, actually based on the promotion at the time people might like to order from a certain place solely based on price or maybe promotion or maybe some kind of an event so um, regardless of the age and the ethnic background of the person they might order from the restaurant simply because the restaurant has an attractive offer and uh, final category I have is um, kind of some some generally accepted food or some kind of popular food that is common in the country you know in the US um, you know pizza for example is very very widespread it's all over the country it's everywhere and um, this is an example of a food that transcends ethnic groups, it transcends age, it transcends pretty much everything and um, this is what I call the category of, you know, kind of generally accepted food by everybody. So the last category is just uh, generally accepted food that transcends all these types of categories and everybody's ordering it for example all right um, that's all I had for you um, if you have any questions let me know if you're interested in any other types of uh, insights about uh, the food delivery business or um, the food people like or anything like that please let me know and uh, I'll uh, try to um, create other videos for you to explain that. Alright? Take care. Bye.